Hi, I'm Cassandra Sackler, director and makeup artist at Dreams for Dead Cats Productions, one of this year's Axe Wound Film Festival sponsors. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there in person to do this demo, but I put together a video tutorial for you on how to make fake guts on a limited budget with limited space. You'll want to start with threading the packing peanuts much like you would thread popcorn on a string to make cheap Christmas tree garland. Once you have the strand to a desired length, I prefer a strand to be about six feet long, cut the thread and seal the end with clear tape. Packaging tape works just fine. Break out the plastic wrap and begin wrapping it around the strand. It's a controlled, consistent twist, pull, and wrap motion. Keep repeating until you reach the end of the strand. Sometimes it's a little difficult to start, but once you get into a rhythm of twisting and wrapping, the plastic wrap around the strand becomes quite rhythmic and simple. Sometimes the wrap wants to stick to itself. Don't be afraid to pull a little and use some force. You're not going to break it. Now it's time to tighten the plastic wrap around the strand to accentuate the shape of the packing peanuts and give it a nice organic shape. Use a heat gun to tighten the wrap. It works fast and it's very hot, so be careful not to let it actually burn the saran wrap. Lay down some protective material on whatever surface you are using. I am using some trash bags on my kitchen table. Apply liquid latex to the strand. Make sure it is fully covered. Allow to dry before rotating to fully cover any missed areas. A blow dryer will help speed up the drying process between layers. Usually two applications, three at most, of the latex will be sufficient. Paint the strand to bring it to life. Acrylic paints will do just fine. I usually use some red, blue, yellow, brown, maroon, black, and white. Mix the paints for desired colors and paint away. Let dry before handling. If you plan on using the guts for various shoots, you may want to consider using a fixative or sealant to keep them in good condition. This is optional. Before doing any shooting, Make sure to add fake blood or slime to give them a proper gruesome appearance. Well, there you have it. And that's just one cheap and creative way on how to make fake guts. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I encourage all of you to get out there, experiment, try your own way, try this way, try lots of different ways make some fake guts, and most of all, go have fun.